My name is Andrew Oswald. I'm a professor of economics at the University of Warwick. I've worked at Warwick for two decades, actually. And a lot of my research has been into what you might describe as behavioral economics, which is what the course, the summer school course, is about, focused on the, really the border between psychology and economics. I think of behavioral economics as real economics, economics as applied to actual human beings. The evidence suggests that behavioral economics ways of thinking are becoming more and more common. When I was an undergraduate, we heard nothing about this. All that is now changing, and behavioral economics is the main vehicle. One might say it's the main course that can teach, I would say, realistic ways, the most sensible ways of thinking about an economy and thinking about a society. Focusing on what do people actually do, focusing on the true influences on their happiness and mental health and behaviour. We spend quite a lot of time talking about how important are economic things to the genuine happiness of human beings. Does money buy happiness? If you win the lottery, will you become happier? The evidence is that in the first year that you win the lottery, almost everyone is less happy, for example. The behavioural economics course at our summer school uh, teaches you also about phenomena like loss aversion that's the notion that if you get a hundred pounds, then giving up the hundred is very painful in a way that's rather different from never having had it in the first place. Losing things is far more painful than how nice it is to get them. So loss aversion, we now know because of the behavioral economics research is really important for thinking about stock market crashes, why people don't cut their prices when they're selling houses, even in a huge recession, why they won't take wage cuts, even to save themselves from unemployment, and so on. Apart from the intellectual stimulation, there will be lots of uh, really remarkable evening lectures from a number of well-known speakers, both inside formal economics and outside economics in the, the real world, politicians and so on. And judging from my games of table tennis last year, you can expect some fierce social competition, at least from the professors on the table tennis table. I think Warwick is a fantastic place to be a professor, to be a student, and to be a summer school student.